This is a short review of the K1 KV RPM meter from Hobby King. Um, this unit is actually very nice. One of the things I did not like uh, about the units is the connections that comes with these um, clips that you have to connect uh, to the battery and uh, the motor leads. Um, so in the end I, uh, <coughs> I, I chose to build my own wiring. Uh, I put up a bunch of pictures after this video so you can see how I did that. Uh, one of the nice things about that is you can actually uh, easily change it out uh, if your engines uh, use a bigger uh, bullet connector or you have a different plug on your battery. So it gives you a little more uh, choice. But basically, uh, and this is a little uh, difficult to see, but I hope you will have a battery connected here. And there it goes to the ESC and the ESC goes to these wires that goes to the engine. Uh, I have this um, servo tester to actually use to um, turn up the throttle of the, uh, the motor. Uh, as I said before, there will be pictures detailing this setup uh, by the end of this video. But basically, you just connect uh, this wire into the side of it and it goes yes. Uh, the one thing to notice here is the P3. Uh, this engine that I'm using here, uh, the Typhoon uh, 2816 uh, from Turnergy, is actually a uh, six uh, poles uh, engine. Uh, the thing is that it comes in pairs, so you have to choose three instead of six, uh, otherwise your numbers will be out of whack. Um, otherwise you can just, this bottom one here will actually change the pole number uh, and this up here will change what um, number, if it's the voltage use or if the KV will, or the RPM. Uh, I will keep it at KV. Um, this engine is rated uh, on Hobby King's page as a 34, uh, 50 kV engine, uh, but let's see how it turns out. I will slowly turn up the, the throttle, uh, as you can see the number goes up, and we are now at full throttle, P3350, it actually settles around here. Um, I'll turn it down again. Makes it a little easier to hear what I'm saying. But you could see that 3350, um, just about there, it actually reached an end. So um, the rating of this engine actually fits our little test here. So in case you have an engine, you don't know what um, KV it is. This little um, meter here can help you measure it out. Um, you could use the clips uh, as it came out of the bag. I just chose to do a little soldering and uh, change it up a little to make it a little more uh, usable for different setups. Um, very, very quick little review. As I said, it seems pretty accurate. Um, I like it. Um, so, I hope you enjoy it too.